uh, this is a tidbit from a real analysis program we will talk about the inverse function inverse functions are actually very interesting and they are useful because they directly lead to the definition of continuity and continuity is obviously one of the most important ideas in real analysis let me quickly tell you why this is the fact if you have a function from x to y one space to another space you have a function f the definition of continuity is this that if you have an open set V inside Y, so V is open inside Y, you look at F inverse V. Now this is a set map by the way. This is a set map. What does that mean? It means that the output of this operation F inverse V is another set some here maybe it looks like this containing all x all the members of this space x such that f of x goes to v so basically we are looking at all members of this set x which goes into v that's the meaning of the set map the inverse image we are looking at inverse images of sets and we are getting back sets okay so whenever v is open in y if f inverse v is open in x so this is whenever v is open in y if f inverse v is open in x then we say that then f is continuous this is the definition of continuity and essentially what we are saying is a function f is continuous if inverse images of open sets are open now this is very different from saying that if you have an open set down here it maps to an open set that might not be true so what we are not saying what we are not saying is open sets are mapped to open sets this is a very different thing these maps are called open maps they're very special maps what we are saying however is inverse image image of open sets are open if that happens if this particular thing happens then we say that the function f is continuous now there is an all important idea and this comes up over and over again when you do real analysis and it's this that f inverse works really well this is how i remember it f inverse works really well with union as well as in uh, intersection of sets now what does that mean that means that f inverse of a union b is equal to f inverse of u a union f inverse of b this is true the second thing that's true is f inverse of a intersection b is equal to f inverse of a intersection f inverse of b if you go ahead in real analysis up to any distance <laughs> for that matter you will see that these two ideas will be used over and over again so it's very useful to 
do their proofs meticulously at the very start of the course and um, get it over with. So next time when you actually apply this result, you don't have to think twice. So um, I'll give you an opportunity to look into uh, or think about this proof. Um, and in the next video, we can give you a proof and in fact, show you how equivalence of two sets are achieved in a general mathematical proof. Uh, the flavor of real analysis is really captured by this uh, jugglery with sets. Uh, most of the work that we will be doing is about carefully thinking about sets and how functions affect them. So uh, think about this problem. How can you show that uh, inverses, set inverse functions uh, work really well with union and inverse uh, intersection of sets? I'll see you in the next lecture.